And our top news story of the day, six years ago this August, a wife, mother, grandmother, shot and killed at her own home in a gated Huntsville neighborhood. This was the scene on Moreland Point, south of I-565, just west of Zert Road that rainy Friday afternoon. 72-year-old Kathleen Blundy was killed in the middle of what authorities called a crime spree. After a two-day manhunt, the man they believed was responsible was captured in Tennessee. And now Warren Hardy's fate rests in the hands of a Madison County jury. And Hardy's also charged with kidnapping two people in addition to the capital murder of Lundy. He faces the possibility of the death penalty if found guilty. The jury began deliberations this morning, but has left for the day without yet reaching a verdict. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker has been covering the trial since the beginning and joins us now live outside the courthouse. That's right. The jury deliberated for about four full hours today. As you've mentioned, they've since gone home for the night, but the judge in the case spent most of the morning reading the five count indictment against Warren Hardy. As we've reported, Hardy is not only charged with that capital murder um, count, he's also charged with two counts of kidnapping as well as domestic violence and shooting into an occupied vehicle. Over the course of this trial, Hardy's defense team, Larry Marsilli and John Brinkley, have tried a number of times to lessen or get rid of some of the charges. Hardy took the stand Tuesday, saying the events that took place on August 26 of 2016 were caused by mental and emotional instability due to a failed relationship with his former girlfriend, whose daughter and stepfather he's accused of kidnapping. On the first day of testimony, we heard from his ex-girlfriend, her stepfather, and the husband of Kathleen Lundy, the shooting victim. Hardy recalled events differently than all three of those witnesses, and he said the gun accidentally fired. However, he also said he was responsible for all of the events that took place that day. Now the jury is expected to return tomorrow morning, bright and early. Of course, we will be here waiting on that verdict to give it to you here on air online and on our News 19 app. Now, a party is convicted of capital murder. The jury has to make a decision as to whether he will face life in prison without the possibility of parole or the death penalty. So a lot at stake here. For now, reporting live from the Madison County Courthouse in Dallas Parker, News 19.